Well, uh, well, let's uh, actually take the conversation forward on pharma stocks and then uh, this is a big uh, sort of surge that we've seen. Nithya Balasubramaniam, Director of Healthcare at Sanford Bernstein is with us. Nithya, good morning. Thanks for taking the call. So it's been, uh, you know, lots of green cheer thanks to these pharma companies. I want to get your sense on the takeaways. Uh, look at what uh, Sipla said about the U.S. market and the strong growth that they posted there. Even Ajanta, they're talking about how uh, a lot of the price erosion is coming off to now single digits. Your sense on what we've seen and if one is to take a call on U.S. generics, A, whether you'd, you'd go for that, and then uh, B, which would be the best play for you in terms of the stock choice? Uh, in the near term, I think, I do believe price erosion is much softer than before. I think we've spoken about this compared to last year where price erosions were tending, uh, trending in the 15 to 20% mark. Uh, I think it's much softer at about uh, low single digit this year. And I would imagine that that sustains at least for the rest of the calendar year. It's difficult to say whether this will sustain beyond that in a longer time frame. Uh, but beyond that, I think the sector is also seeing additional tailwinds in terms of uh, companies finally being able to take advantage of API costs having improved, API and raw material costs. A lot of them are sitting on high price inventory. I think they've burned through that and now they're enjoying the benefit of API costs having come off to pre-COVID levels. Freight costs are more reasonable. And for companies like Cipla and Alchem, which have a higher NLEM exposure, they've also been able to take a 10 to 12 percent price hike this year. So I think across the board, uh, the theme uh, right now seems to be better margins this year, both gross margins as well as EBITDA. And in terms of what we would play, I think in terms of our 15 month, uh, 15 to one year to 15 month view, we'd still like Sun, Cipla and Biocom. Uh, but specifically, if you're asking me about the US tailwind and names to play there, I think Aurobindo is more exposed. There are also some supply disruptions. So in the near term, I think Aurobindo should be able to benefit. Hi, Nitya. Oh, good morning. Uh, Nitya, in the top uh, few stocks that you mentioned, Sipla featured. Uh, yesterday, my colleague Nisha, she broke the story that finally there could be a stake sale that could be on the cards. Wanted your comments on that. Uh, we've heard it before, but it seems there's something brewing now. Uh, see, I think the promoters, uh, uh, Yusuf Hamid and uh, Mustafa Hamid, they're obviously uh, in a place where they need to think about succession planning. Uh, Samina Hamid has, has been involved, but not in an operational role. I think in the recent past, we have seen that uh, Umang had, Umang Wara had operational control. Uh, and I would imagine going forward, uh, they want to continue, uh, continue to have a professional management in place. Uh, what's broken so far, I'm not privy to details, but based on what's in the press out there, it seems like they're trying to sell about a 25% stake out of the 34 odd percent that the promoters hold. Uh, to a cons possibly a consortium of private equity. So we would imagine that uh, when any private equity or a consortium comes on board, we would imagine that they would want to continue to run the company through a professional management. Uh, it's worked well for Cipla in the recent past. Uh, I don't see why it should be very different uh, if a private equity consortium of private equity were to take over. Okay, so operationally, you don't see any hiccups. I guess the market anyway gets excited if someone's going to come in and buy a large chunk of equity, open off all those kind of buzzing scenarios will start doing the rounds. So I guess uh, explains a lot of the excitement, both on fundamentals and some of these other, you know, other possibilities around the stock. Thanks, Nithya, for joining in. A short call, but a very useful one. Thank you for giving us the perspective. We